It seems the recent passing of Tang the Perfect has caused a bit of a construction boom. Throughout the kingdom, cities scrambled to erect shrines and temples to honor his memory. Not one to be outdone. The town of Bo has had architects devise plans for a grand temple. They want you, most noble administrator, to oversee its construction. You must first designate a suitable site for the monument. Loggers will then be needed to fell trees for lumber, and laborers will be available to construct a sturdy foundation of rammed earth. Local farms can now grow cabbage as well as millet. Instead of building new farms, however, consider converting existing millet fields to cabbage. Surplus hemp and ceramics can be sold for profit, but do not forget to give generous offerings to our ancestor heroes, as their blessings are vital. Lastly, it is time the people of this town started paying their allegiance to our king. Adding an administrative city will allow tax offices to be built. Hey guys, welcome back to Emperor, and it looks like we're returning to Bo to build the Great Temple, as it is one of the, the goals here. Great Temple must be built. Got to get a thousand people in an elegant dwelling or better, but nine months of heroes. I'll talk about that one in a second, because I think the, there's not been very many, if any, missions where we needed heroes. I think there was one tutorial, but I didn't really go and talk about it much. And they're suggesting that we convert millet fields to cabbage. We are not going to do that. Let's just head to the city right now. I see we've got, we've got our city as it was left. Um, a nice bit of space here to build a cabbage farm. Since we've now got the space for it, so we'll just set that to 10. Uh, monument building is a bit of a pain in the neck. And we de generally need lots of unemployment to make it work. Uh, so all I'm going to do is just go ahead and place down a cabbage farm. Like so. I can see my screen looks a bit... Flickery again, I'm just going to ignore it. Yep, we need to get this going. We've got 8,140, I think it must be 9,000 that we started with. Unlike later missions, you don't get. Um, there are some later missions that you get which basically have um, fund carryover, which is pretty epic, I have to say. Um, I'm just going to convert part of this one over since we don't have much space in this one for um, building tons of stuff. So we've got plenty of money being made, selling off ceramics. I don't think we've got any other traders. Oh no, we've got Khufu. Bao Ji is open with us, even though we didn't actually do anything, but never mind. Uh, so we've got Khufu and Bampo. Let's go and send diplomatic requests to Khufu and Bampo, just to see what they want. Looks like we might have to make a bit of money, but I don't think it's too big of a deal. Now, Moira construction is a lot different than in Pharaoh. Um, in Pharaoh, you built monuments and they just went cross country to them. It didn't matter. So you could set up your monument really far away over here somewhere and have all your construction guilds down here. It doesn't work like that in Emperor. The constru this construction guilds need to have access to uh, a road for them to work. So I'm going to put this down like so and I'm going to put a road right around it. These little flat bits just here are the joining bits for the roads. And you had to place down labourer camps. Now the labourer camps have really short feng shui. Um, they've got to be next to rocks or cliff edges. But you see how just being one tile away is enough to ruin the feng shui. So we're going to put one there. And we're going to put one there. Now the Great Temple needs 5 stacks of wood and 20 carpenters. Now the thing might look a bit confusing, it does not mean you have had to build 20 carpenter skills, that's not how it works. All it means is that 20 carpenters in total need to have hit the monument. Now as no as I converted this over to mil uh, a bit of cabbage, I might just put down a cabbage field down here. Yes, that's what I'll do, I'll just go ahead and do that now since so there's um, space for it. One, two, three. I'll just delete that. Cabbage down like so. Oh, Khufu and Bampo rejected the trade agreements, never mind. Let's delete that clay pit and just move it over one tile if it's good fung shui still, which it is, so it's good. I'll do that. And what I'll do is this little bit I converted to cabbage. Let's see. It's hard to tell. That. There's too many, so I'll delete that. Like so, so I'll put this back to millet. 
It means we just had to put down a ceramic shop uh, because it looks like we won't be able to uh, get enough workers because we need some more workers. So I'm also going to put down, I'm going to delete some of these trees since there's <coughs> too many of them. Sorry about that cough there. And I'm going to put that down because they'll catch um, fire and get destroyed soon if I'm not bought, if I don't pay any attention to it. But I get our workers. So if we can get the food in, that'll help. Now the hero's goal, I think I've measured it a bit, uh, basically you need to have uh, the... Basically the heroes need to have been in the city for 9 months over the period of the mission, it's not got to be 9 months consistent. It's just 9 months over the course of the mission, which is not too difficult at all. I think Lepros has to take 35 employees, it's quite a lot. Uh, Logging sheds, you've not really seen much of these, and uh, they prefer open areas and not near Earth. Um, um, rocks and things, they prefer just open ground. So I'll put in two of those. I'm going to delete this tree here because then I can put a warehouse just there, which is going to accept wood. 28 of <coughs> that, excuse me, folks. And four of that for clay because I believe we need clay in this. Uh, let's see, let's put down a cap there, there, not good. Let's put one of those. Now we need to also put down some uh, construction guilds, so let's do that. Carpenters prefer um, just open areas, I think. And ceramist guilds prefer... Um, is it rock? Yeah, it's rock they prefer, so we'll just delete um, some trees. Where's these? Facts and cut the trees. And uh, we'll put down another set of a skill there, like so. We still got perfect harmony, which is actually a bit of a surprise. I wasn't expecting it. So, this house again it will evolve once it gets access to cabbage, which will be coming in soon, I think. Cabbage I don't really like as an extra food stuff. I prefer things like millet, wheat, and soybeans. They produce a hell of a lot. And so, we're just going to keep making. Um, money. Pong D is angry, let's give them a big amount of ceramics just to butter them up to pleased. And so we're just going to let the monument run. Getting the wood in there. Now once um, once the required amount of stuff is in the storage yard, it'll just go in the, the, the warehouse. The warehouse guy will take it, it's not the labourers go to the warehouse, they take it. It's the, the warehouse people that do it. Everyone's pleased, I don't need to worry too much about it at the moment because it's not our immediate goal. Once the cabbage is in, we'll be able to provide a good amount of stuff. And since we've got plenty of starting funds, we'll give them Happy New Year. And then comes the Elite Housing, but they don't have access to acrobats and they won't be evolving beyond that. We'll get the 900 the people evolved easily. 1200 people, that's perfect. We've got a lot of workers needed, so this will provide a welcome boost to the city. Excuse me, folks. So let's see, we've got plenty of housing, we just need to get them in and then we'll be done with this mission. The Monster of Heroes is not too difficult and we can do that pretty easily with ceramics and things. So let's try and get um, Shenlong in here with... I don't have really very much anyway, so there's no point. So let's just build up the, the supply a bit first. How many kilns do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 4 of these. If I've got a space for another clay pit, which is not there because it's bad feng shui. Oh, the kilns, do they fit in there? Oh, they do. I can put another 2 there. And put a clay pit just in there. And I could get more people out. Get in there. Monuments don't take too long to construct, so it's not too big a deal. Now what does Khufu want? They want wood, hemp, bronze, and silk, but they sell as jade, and if I could get jade in, I could sell some for money, even though it's not really necessary. Is it really necessary to import jade? No, there's no point, because we can't make um, card jade anyway, so there's no point in that trade route. I believe I can import bronze from Baoji, which I can convert to bronze and sell that off, though. Because we've got a bronze maker. 
and if I could get the trade open with Khufu that would help. But I need to get a lot more wood in here to get the wood to get them happy with me. In comes the dirt. Now there's a monument face that says dirt. Um, you don't actually have a resource called dirt. Basically the labourer cats will go with dirt. Automatically out of nowhere. Uh, now we've run out of workers, so it looks like I've got to boost this up to very high to get some unemployment. That's good. Not really what I wanted, but there's plenty of hemp being made here, so it's good. But see, there's not much to say because we've just got to get the the monument built. Uh, let's get some. They don't want uh, ceramics, and they make it. Um, ceramics. Oh, I could do this. I could um, put a trading station down for Bao G, like so. I'll just put it right in there and sell more ceramics because why not? Employees needed, I know, but are on very high wage rates, which is not too good. So let's see, we can make the money pretty quickly. We've got plenty of money, but these houses are going to devolve, which is not helpful at all because we don't have enough cabbage being provided. Which is going to only exacerbate our problem for things, which doesn't really help, does it? Can I just put it in a house right there? I could put it there, but it's too far away from a road. I'm going to have to put that there just to <coughs> provide them access. It's a bit of a pain, but never mind. It's gonna ruin my road system, but never mind. Never mind. Got the cabbage in. Not a lot of it, but quite a bit. Just got to wait for the marketplace to provide appetizing food. Oh, Happy New Year! Let's just send that off. Why well, it's coming on well? You do have to provide a lot more elaborate and expensive. Um, not a lab, uh, expensive. More elaborate and complex monuments. They do get pretty complicated eventually. Um, which is a really annoying thing. Oh, an emissary from Bao Ji wants to enter. Let's see. Oh, he wants to give us some wood. Let's just take that. Let's see what's the next stage. More wood. That's not too difficult. Once this one is delete, uh, completed, I'll just delete these worker camps so that we can provide um, <coughs> other stuff. <coughs> Pardon me, folks. It's unlike me to be coughing like this, so I do apologise. Let's see, now can I fit? But I know I can, I can put two in and I'll just um, go with two instead of multiple. Um, he sells me bronze, I believe Bao Ji sells me bronze. And let's put down some bronze wear makers just to make some extra money. And um, where's the other employees needed I know? Ah, there we go. Some clay will be needed in here. We don't need any more workers and that's on very high wage rate, which it means these are sapping up our workers. If we have too much um of the ceramics being made and stockpiling, I will just um, get rid of some of the kilns just to save us a little bit. Who buys um, uh, bronzeware? It's Khufu. Now how much wood do we have in stock? Only enough for 8 stacks, so I'll wait a bit on that. Now we don't need to accept any more clay into this, so we'll just let that stockpile with wood. One slab of clay is all that was needed, so... I could try and get rid of that clay. In fact, I'm going to delete that clay maker because we don't need it. That clay pit, that is. We've got our um, people in there, that's good. Got some unemployment. <coughs> oh, excuse me, folks. I don't know what's coming over with me at the moment. Um, I am going to put a road out this way for no other reason than to get clay into this system. Once I deleted this stuff, I'll move uh, some logging sheds over one here. And I think I'll be able to fit the administrative city in here if I get good feng shui for it. So I can delete all of this so eventually get this uh, monument done. It doesn't take any time at all to build it. 
I feel a couple of people feeling a bit neglected. Let's get those some of that. Oh, we've got some heroes possible now. Now we can just stockpile on wood into this one storage yard. Let's see, do we get any ancestral heroes? Probably not. We're running out of money, but it doesn't matter. Happy New Year. Let's just do that. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh! The Great Temple is now complete and it will delight Nuwa, the Creator Goddess, just as it delights the people. Yes, um, monuments do another thing which is very important. Um, when they are built, they extend the... Not, they don't extend. What they do is they turn uh, the Goddess um, dedicated to, to exalted immediately, and then they will never go below contentious, so they will never get upset, which makes it a lot easier to get the God stuff in this one. So we've got a load of wood coming in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna delete these because we don't need them. What I'm gonna do is put the... Oh, new one arrives, that's good. I'm gonna put that there. And then we're gonna delete some of these trees and put in that. And what we're also going to do is put down a load of logging sheds in places. That's all rocks here, isn't it? Damn it. I'm going to delete some of this road that goes round like this because it's a bit annoying. I'm going to delete that as well. Maybe move it down a bit. We don't need them to be going up there, so we'll just um, change the roadblock position. Let's put down some logging sheds wherever they can go. Like so. Now we're just going to get rid of some of this unemployment by reducing the wage rate. Like so, that'll clear it out. We've got plenty of bronze coming in, a bit too much, but we're getting some bronze wear into the city. Somehow. Uh, I'm going to put down Oh, where can I put the warehouse? Where, where, where? Let's delete some kilns. That doesn't work, so... <coughs> Excuse me! Um, I might have to rearrange stuff to get a warehouse in here to accept um, bronzeware. Let's put that there. Let's do... Uh, Put bronzeware straight in there, like so. Like so. I'm going to delete this. Uh, I'm going to delete this road. We'll block that there. We'll block. Uh, road black, no road blocks, sorry. Uh, let's see, we'll do that. Four of them. An awful lot of them, but it doesn't matter. There we go, so we've got plenty of bronze in the city. Uh, plenty of bronze we're to make now. Now, how long has the ancestral hero been in here for? Four months, so all we need to do is wait for nine months, which isn't going to be difficult considering that Nuba is now exalted permanently. So we should be able to win this mission very quickly, and I'll skip ahead until that happens. That's as at 8 months, so the next time, when the month changes over to no, uh, December, we will win this mission. And in my opinion, because of the, the relatively low month of heroes requirement, it means you're better off just building the monument and then just letting the monument's um, hero boost take you over the finishing line, because you should have no trouble providing elegant dwellings here, so... Just gotta wait for them to turn over. I haven't even sold any bronze wear. I've kind of wasted all my money importing bronze for that, but never mind. We won the mission. You have done well. A beautiful grand temple now dominates the town of Bo, honoring the memory of our late king. People travel many li to visit the temple and offer homage to his spirit, but the new king is ready to move on. And one of the things he wants to move is the capital. Yes, he does like to move the capital, but you're going to have to wait to the next video to find out where we're going to develop a brand new capital 
for the Shang Empire. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video, guys. Bye now.